Hey, this is Paul from the Polyverse Support Team with a quick start video on using Manipulator in Pro Tools. To get started with Manipulator right away, simply create an audio track and add Manipulator onto it as an insert effect. Whether you're using live incoming audio or a pre-recorded audio sample, Manipulator will be ready to use. Hello. Manipulator can also change the pitch of your audio to match a specific MIDI note. This allows on-the-fly repitching of vocals into any melody, sequence, or even harmonies. To use Manipulator's MIDI-triggered pitch shifting feature in a live performance setting, create a new audio track and add Manipulator onto it as an insert effect. If you're using Manipulator stereo effects with a mono-channel audio source, we recommend that you place Manipulator onto a stereo audio track and use a bus to direct your mono-channel audio sources to it. Next, create a MIDI track and route its output to Manipulator. Then, arm the audio and MIDI tracks. While audio is flowing through the plugin, play some notes on your external MIDI controller to impose pitch onto your source. So if you sing while playing notes on your MIDI keyboard, you can make your own real-time background vocals. It's so easy to do. You can also import MIDI or compose your own MIDI inside the MIDI track to get even more precise with the timing of Manipulator's effects. You can add MIDI whenever you want. If you'd like to use Manipulator's MIDI triggered pitch shifting feature with pre-recorded audio samples, just add your samples to your audio track. And that's it. Tweak some knobs, click some buttons, and have fun meeting your new voice with Manipulator. For a full walkthrough of all of Manipulator's features, Click here or follow the link in the description section below. And if you have any questions about using the plugin, get in touch with us at polyversemusic.com. Thanks for watching.